is a quick hair of the day. Um, I got it from QO Chemist. I'm not too sure how she completed it because I did the kind of a basket weave on the top, basket weave at the back, and then I just kind of tucked and rolled the top somehow. So this is how it looks from the front. And the back, I'll try to turn around slowly. I'm not too sure how she did hers, so I'll show you where my problem occurred, basically. So for the back, I've never done it up before, so the only way for me to do it going up is to do it upside down. So bear with me one second. Okay, so that's the back done and then I'm just going to use a bobby pin hope you can see that to kind of pin the last two overlapping braids together I'm just have to try to shove it in there somehow okay and then the top don't have that much to work with so I just start here left right left right left and then this one and then let's see this one I guess I kind of run out of logs here And then I use another pin to pin these in at the top. So now, I don't know what she did after this point. Because I just have a bunch hanging at the top, a bunch hanging at the side. I guess that could work as a style if you want to like be funky. Or maybe you can unravel these ends and do something curly like you know pipe cleaners or something. So what I ended up doing yesterday is taking a very thin hairband like this one compared to this one so it's quite a thin one and I held it up in a ponytail yep. like so and then I'm just gonna tuck in the ends so just tuck it in wherever you can. You can tuck it, most of them, like the longer ones, I can you tuck it into the, um, the hairband. So I just kind of tuck them. If you try to do them all at once, they might not stay that well, but you know, just tuck it anywhere you can. And then, you know, like she said, since they're braided, it looks so much more intricate. Like you put some time and effort into it, but Really how neat you really want yours to look but I'm fairly happy with that I haven't looked in the mirror so I don't know how this one looks you know when you do it on camera sometimes it comes out different so this is how it looks then in the front and then top angle I hope you can see this so that's the top angle And then from the back. Okay. 
Okay, so um, one thing I must advise, because I did this yesterday when I washed my hair. I didn't start university until 2 o'clock. So I washed it in the morning. So my hair was, you know, still damp when I left for university. When I came home, it was still damp. So please, 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 if you do this hair, start on a day that you wash your hair. Um, if you can, try to blow dry it before you pin it up or do what I did and you know take it down again blow dry it a bit because do not you should not go to bed with damp locks or don't make a habit out of it I would think the amount of times I'm in bed with damp locks is enough I can count on one hand don't make a habit of it because that's how you get smelly locks because you're going to get mildew and mold and stuff growing in your hair and you don't want that especially since you can't see it you know so um yeah so I blow dried it last night before I went to bed gave it a bit of a um, another spray in the morning and yeah that's it so just gonna shove another pin in there Ooh. and I don't know so it's up to you. you can you know play around with it to get the top looking how you want I'm probably gonna play around with this a bit more because yesterday I did get it look a bit neater but that's pretty much it for my braided lock up do and I love I just love it. I've, it just never occurred to me, never occurred to me to do it. And it's so simple. And then, you know, next week I'll take it down and I'm going to have a nice braid out. So let me know if you have any questions. Pop over to QO Chemist uh, video to see how she did it. She has like three versions of it. So please pop over to her page and see what she's done with hers. Any questions as usual, you know, ask away, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.